girls that that is kind of a really new group uh, and a really uh, new addition to the art world in Bangladesh. I'm here presenting on behalf of Akaliko. So um, as we all know, music in, unites people and uh, it's, it's been used as a form of um, cultural, um, you know, uh, collective efforts and uh, from the medieval times, from the historic times, music like different techniques of music. Keeping up with the essence of electronic music, Akaliko, which means timeless in Pali, was aptly named. And from the very beginning of this initiative, one of its main objectives has been to, you know, uh, create the opportunity for uh, the electronic musicians of Dhaka to actually um, uh, uh, take their talents to the next level, take their talents further, and, uh, you know, giving them a platform for that collaboration. And uh, although Akaliko is primarily a record level producing um, solo artist tracks and audio art projects. It also um, is always, you know, curious to collaborate with artists from other professions, performance artists and um, psychologists and dancers, choreographers. So they're always welcome. But um, the main objective of Akaliko remains in creating, actually having that own space for itself where uh, people from all sorts of ages and backgrounds can come and enjoy electronic music. And we also hope to um, actually host our workshops there. And, um, you know, uh, Akaliko just basically wants to keep motivating its pool of artists into pursuing their individualistic talents. And it has already worked with artists like um, the B Regiment, Sinin, Solarin, Dhaka Dab, Hierarchy, Big Machete, and Deep Steel. So um, today we're going to present one sim sample of our work. This track is called Puthi Drone by the B Regiment, which amalgamates our rural folk tradition of Puthis. And this one uh, particularly is being sampled from Tariq Masood's film Mati Moina, which we're all very familiar with. And it is somewhat juxtaposed with drone electronic music. And this concept track simply explores the aspect of how electronic music can be owned, you know? And drone music is actually characterized by its repeated sounds and tone clusters. And it has its roots in the South Indian classical music from uh, the Carnatic domain. So uh, let's hear Puthi Drone. copies of our compilation translations for all the collectives that are present here today and uh, we're always very willing and welcome for collaborations cro cross media collaborations as well so please feel free to contact us drop us a message and uh, for all your queries if you have any questions um, I'm welcoming one of the founders of Akaliko uh, I'm Muhammad Faisal on stage hey Faisal how are you doing so uh, as me and you know that we are going to collaborate in the next season we have in Toronto. Mm -hmm. So as she was asking, if you are planning to collaborate in, uh, with an artist group, mm -hmm. so I think it, it would be better uh, or, or it would be um, fun to hear what you are uh, looking forward uh, with Toronto 
uh, the artist community, the first artist community you will be directly working with on uh, in Shunamganj. We are planning the sixth and seventh season. You remember, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I do. <laughs> so you can share your um, uh, thoughts, like you were sharing with us, uh, that for the, for the first time you will be uh, going to a village area, a rural area, and experiencing the area, and you will have um, productions there. So I think um, it would be fun to hear a few words on that. Because there are platforms like SoundCloud where artists can get in touch with each other. And since most of the work uh, is done on, I mean, on digital softwares, the files can be transferred regardless of where the other person is. So that's one way of collaborating. And then there are collaborations like in locally where artists can get together and jam like, like any other uh, music. So there was one project we collaborated with this British artist called Gowan, who, uh, who is a music technologist. And we basically uh, facilitated a project where our artist, um, um, over a period of time, developed this piece of uh, photograph, digital, it's like a combination of a digital photograph and sounds combined. Uh, I really can't explain it in words. To, I, I wish I could have shown that, but yeah. And then there are projects where uh, we got in touch with videographers and they have made promos for us and also created artwork. And, and right now we're currently working on a couple of music videos right now. So yeah. Well, most of the guys when, when they started this, they were basically bedroom producers. And that thing is still there, but then uh, there's not much of recording to be done uh, because we really don't use much of vocals. But uh, the, kind of e the kind of equipment we have, recorders, is sometimes it's possible to take basic vocal samples just by using those. We, we, yeah, of, of course. We always do that, yeah. Well, uh, m most of the events we did so far were at various cultural centers. We haven't done this commercially yet, but we plan to do so. And uh, we, we have used uh, Guate Institute's Berlin Hall a lot. So they have been supporting us for a while. And that has been quite a good space for us to experiment and uh, get our artist experience performing live, live in front of an audience. And is there a big cultural music scene here in Canada? There are quite a few producers, actually. Right now, like we had this community first called Dhaka Electronica Scene. And we, have around, we had around 150 to 200 producers in our radar, which were all handpicked out of thousands, all in Dhaka. And then afterwards, Dhaka is an offshoot of Dhaka Electronica scene, and then we are much more focused now. And we are working with like around uh, eight, eight artists in total, where five of them are local, and then there are other international artists too, because one of our partners, label partners, is based from Bo Boston other things that can be done. So we're basically planning to just go there and try to possibly capture the essence there, because there are a few artists we have. You, you met one of them. And they're pretty much into soundscape and ambient. Uh, they produce ambient kind of sounds. And yeah, I think it would be like to capture the essence there, I suppose. We haven't done anything similar to this, but then, yeah, we really haven't figured it out, so, to be honest. <laughs> 